Also, if you'd like to see this, this is a carval hull. The boat was made about 1940. Um, the engine dates back to about 1929. It's the uh, Stuart Turner ST engine. There's a little work to do on it. It uh, looks complete, so a bit of gentle restoration on it. Uh, probably put a gas burner in it, and um, as you can see it's going to make a quite quite a nice little pond boat. Don't know who made it. Might have been scratch built. I don't know, but it's a lovely hole. prop there's a bit, bit of work needs doing to it but um, just a gentle clean um, take the engine out and give it service but uh, nothing much wrong goes wrong with these engines it's a bit like the um, Bowman's engine on the snipe probably convert this to gas actually because um, I think this runs about 30 psi but, uh, it's a lovely boat it's not too big lightweight and um, I think it's possible to uh, give it a radio control order mm. there's some screw legs here so uh, that that rudder assembly will come off and um, it, it's designed so that you can actually set the curve of how you want to circle the boat and then just turn that and that just holds it, it holds it in, locks it locks it at that pitch and turn so the, you know, if you go in a circle on a pond, you'll not lose your boat. But that is uh, very nice. Um, just a gentle restoration, really, inside. Um, that's the um, for the burner. I think it might come out. It's a bit stubborn, but. Uh, So that's the burner tray um, which I'll take out and um, I'll just put a little gas burner in there in the gas tank because like I say it should run about 30 psi so um, I think the engine's about 7 8 bore 7 8 stroke on this ST like I say early steel turner 1929 not sure what uh, what date the boat is though, um, but it's just a lovely hull. It's um, it's a carval hull, and um, you know it's going to look uh, really nice on the pond. Um, there's a bit of filling to do. Just on the. Uh on the skeg gear on the on the rudder support bar. Um, I don't know the might change the prop. We'll see how she runs. But it's quite a large prop, which is about right for the boat. There's a bit of damage there, so I can put a bit of filler on there and put a screw in that just to retain that better. Um, as you can see there is some blistering on the paintwork but the thing is about these um, vintage boats is um, not to overdo the restoration helps you take the age away from the boat so it really is a question of a careful simple clean so that you just uh, don't lose that age
of the boat so age of the boat could say 30s 40s the engine definitely dates back to uh, 1929 um, but it's just a lovely boat and it's small and light and uh, it's a nice size to cart in the car so you know um, I can test the boiler make sure it's all okay and say so she should run about 20-30 psi so I hope you like that and if anybody knows what the name of this boat is <laughs> please let me know <laughs> or who made it um, I don't know it's got me fox this one I've not seen this one before so it could be scratch built it could be a kit that a uh, small, small manufacturer produced um, I would say for the uh, date of the engine you know it wasn't a cheap boat when it was made because uh, the engine was quite expensive in 1929 so I don't know who made it but uh, certainly made a good job of it anyway I hope you like that see you next time